Hey Brain Bosses, it is Jen, your head Brain Boss in charge. Make sure you're checking in in the comments, hashtag Brain Boss or Brain Bosses. So you guys, I want to come in and talk to you guys about Groupon for Braiders. Hear me out. Okay, hear me out. All right, so we have to talk about Groupon in a certain type of way. Now, the thing about Groupon is we both know Groupon has a built-in audience, right? People go to Groupon looking for deals. If you had intentions or plans to run deals or do a discount anyway, Groupon might be a place where you might think about offering your braid services. Now, Groupon has some very specific um, requirements. Let's first talk about the money. Groupon does a 50-50 split. You heard me right, okay? 50-50 split. So if you charge $100 for some braids on Groupon, Groupon is gonna take $50 of that. So you're pretty much paying Groupon to advertise for your business, okay? So that's number one. Number two, if you do use Groupon, Groupon wants you to be licensed in your state or city or county, okay? You guys know I have another um, I have another video on here where I talk about what states you need to have a license in. So make sure you check that video out. I'll either leave it down below or I'll let it slide up top. Okay, talking about what states you need a license to braid hair in. Okay, so Groupon is going to want you to have a license. They, they might request for you to actually present that license to them. The next thing is Groupon usually wants you, not usually, Groupon wants you to have a business address. So this is gonna be helpful for my braiders who actually work out of a shop because you actually have a business address. And Groupon verifies your address, right? So you need to have an address. So those are some of the specific things you need to know about Groupon. Um, and you know, so you need the license possibly you need the business address most definitely and you're gonna share your 50 50 split with groupon groupon is taking a 50 50 split because they're advertising for you right they're promoting for you they have you know thousands of people that come to the groupon site every day and they know that they're putting your business your braid business in front of somebody to want to get their hair done so they're gonna want the 50 50 split you have to decide whether groupon will be for you I think if you're a brand, well, if you're a brand new braider and you have all the things I named, this is definitely a good spot for you to start because it's bringing you clients that you probably wouldn't have reached out, that you wouldn't have reached anyway. So that's something. Also, I think it's a good idea because Groupon has it where they provide like some pictures for you. You can like manipulate the site where you can put your own pictures. You can put like how long a person can come and like can retrieve the hair coupon that they bought from you so you have to really think like it's groupon for me i think it's worth trying but make sure you you meet all the requirements and you guys let me know if you guys want me to actually do a walkthrough tutorial of um setting up your business on groupon but you definitely want to look into it because again they have their own advertisement i know for some people like 50 50 split is not a good thing but i think you should think about Doing a hairstyle that you actually can do pretty quickly, that you can charge more for. We know that, you know, box braids are popular or the Coral Array braids is popular right now. So if you were to do those and that takes you two hours and say you charge them, you know, 200, um, Groupon will get 100 and you would get 100, right? So you can also do it that way too. Charge, this, charge double of what you know you would already charge. So say if you did box braids, medium size, and you would charge 150, you might charge 300. Groupon takes their 150. You still make your 150. You was gonna charge anyway, but you just boost the price. And you gotta be realistic. When people go on Groupon, they're looking for a discount. So if they're looking for a discount, there's highly likely they won't pay that much for that. But that's why I suggest you guys do. Um, I suggest you guys do a hairstyle that is something you could do quick. You could charge more for, so you can still get about the same or almost the same of what you were gonna get even if you didn't do the 50-50 split with Groupon. So you guys, I hope this was helpful. Let me know down in the comments, have you guys thought about doing Groupon? Is that something that you would be interested in doing? And let me know if you have participated in my Braid Here for Cash course and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye y'all.